All right, so we're back with another review of Vampire Virus. This is, I don't know really to call this a rant because I'm not angry or mad, but highly disappointed because the idea of, of Vampire Virus, of pretty much a vampire bite, <clears throat> a vampire bite being treated like it's a <clears throat> the virus, but it's not like they don't do it justice in this. A new generation of vampires are born. Yeah, right. Not really. I like guess the same. Pre I think half of this is an allegory for being gay, because <laughs> like there's a, a, a scene towards the there's a di line of dialogue towards the end where the two characters who happen to be gay they. Uh, one of them gets infected, and, like, the other one wants, the, the the one that's infected wants the other one to be infected as well with him, so then he chooses to do that, be like that, be a vampire, pretty much. And, like, the sergeant or whoever, the bad guy, technically, kind of bad guy, he is like, this is disgusting and a disgrace or whatever, I forget. But, like, it's pretty much... An, so, I think half of this is, like, an allegory for being, you know, gay or bi or whatever. Because the lead girl ends up having one night with a vampire woman who reminded me a bit of the vampire in Subspecies. I forget his name. But she sound, she talks like him almost, pronounces words like him. It's a film by Charles... Or Charlie Steeds which I hope he doesn't direct ever again. Because this film is not really anything to run home about. I watched the trailer, because that's the only thing it has for a feature, is tr a trailer at the on the menu. So really, but overall, this is a boring waste of time. It's not even gory, really, because you don't get any good gore effects. Like, you get munching on necks or... Maybe a shot in the head with a shotgun, but not really that bloody or gory. There's no... It's not ape crazy at the end. I mean, you get a SWAT team, but SWAT team gets wiped out in, like, weak fashion. Just a slice here or a bite there or choke, whatever. Like, the lead girl, she's supposed to be this shy, recluse girl. Well, not really recluse, but she's folk, a workaholic. Her friends want her to go out and try to get the guy... She dances with two guys, but then they end up being vampires, and then also she meets another vampire woman, who I guess is their boss, technically, or leader. Of course, she dies. At the, all the, like, the vampires that she comes into contact with, they all die. And really, she her she ends up turning, well, she gets the, le the main vampire woman to turn her roommate friend, who happens to be gay, who is also dating one of the sergeants, or one of the deputies, he's also with him. So then he, towards the end, so all three of them end up being vampires, but then it only shows at the end the lead girl um, killing somebody at the end in a car. So then I'm like, wow, so like, really you have nobody to root for, because... They end up being vampires, and then they decide to kill people, because I get they want to, they have to feed, but, like, at least in Vampire Diaries or Twilight, at least they decided to, you know, deer eat animals. No, they want to eat people, so I can't even really root for any of them, because all these vampires seem to be evil, technically. And, you, and then you have a subplot where, again, the police are... At the very beginning, I knew I was in trouble because a, a terrible line of dialogue. The first thing this main vampire woman says is when she kills, like, or when she uh, has, like, when she escapes this laboratory or whatever hallway, she's like, who wants to live for eternity or something? Because the guy, the doctor's like, they're going to kill me or something. And then she's like, who wants to live for eternity? Like, I, I didn't understand that comeback to him. Like, what? Isn't that your goal is to live forever as a vampire? Whatever. 
so I didn't get that. Um, but yeah, again, acting in this is fine from mainly everybody. Uh, not amazing, but it's decent. The soundtrack to this is pretty interesting. It's an 80s throwback uh, synth-driven, which was fine. I actually liked that. The ending theme I didn't care for. Half of the music in this is fine. Fine to okay. Um, but yeah, the characters, like, again, you don't really know much about... You don't even know much about her roommate, except that he's gay, and he's with the one deputy guy who's also gay, and that's it. <laughs> you don't get really get character development, unless you... I guess if you want to call it the main girl who is shy at first, but then she... So she's a vampire. Oh, um, I know vampires are supposed to be, you know, hyper sexual whatever but at the end of the day it's still eh. so it's like eh. but I don't know so yeah she's supposed to feel all euphoric because she's a vampire now and I, but again it was treating it like it's a virus and it's supposed to be worldwide but not really because it's all it's set in this one city I don't know where. It says somewhere in America. So they don't even have a name for the city at the end. But yeah, I would have liked it if it was an actual, you know, global thing where it had on the news, you know, mysterious deaths or uh, weird puncture wounds or virus t thing where people are paranoid or we could play with paranoia and stuff like that. But no, we don't have enough budget for that because... This is a low budget film. And I should have knew better because the way it's the way it looks at the, on the back it steals a picture. I don't know, like this I maybe this is a rant a bit because I am disappointed in it. You don't really know much about this you don't even know much about the the villain either. Like you know that she killed a family and the husband is alive, but then he is in custody, and then he turns into a vampire, and then he dies because he gets shot trying to bite one of the guys. So yeah, it's a letdown. Human is human blood is the only is only the beginning. Yeah, right. Huge letdown. Huge.